Hey, New Hope Kids, and welcome to New Hope Kids Online. My name is Miss Brooke, and I am so glad that you're here today. So in August, we are doing a series called Promises. And guess what? It's all about God's promises. You know, he made promises to the Israelite people many, many, many years ago, and they found that they could really trust God. But those promises weren't just for those people who lived so long ago. Those promises are for us, too. And we also need to know that we can always trust God's promises. So it's a pretty exciting series and it's full of really great news. So I'm so glad you're here. So go ahead and sit back and relax and enjoy today's episode of Promises. Hey, thank you again for tuning into my vlog. So where are you from? Comment down below where you're from. Are any of you from, hmm, let me guess a place. Are any of you from NYC? That's where I am. I am in New York City. Do you have any special talents? One thing I love about all of my friends is that I get to learn about all the wonderful things that they can do. Some can dance really well. Others can sing. Some can paint. says that she can sing, but she gets nervous to sing in front of people. Laura, I totally understand. I love to paint, but I'm not nearly as good as my friend Scarlett. I have older friends too. Friends that go to big kid school. That'll be me someday. I have a friend named Allie. Allie Callie Allie Callie. I know. Let me call her. Hey, my friend. I'm just vlogging and I wanted to show my new friends who you were and what cool stuff you do. Hey, Callie. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, new friend. So, guys, this is my friend Allie. Allie has got to be the Aww, best singer in the sweet. world. I'm not the best, but I do practice a lot, so I got better. I started when I was, like, well, your age. Can you sing something for us? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Uh, Allie, are you there? Yes, I am. I was just blown away by your singing. Do you ever get nervous to sing? Nervous? Of course, all the time. But what do you do? I want to be a dancer when I grow up, but I get so nervous before I dance. Well, every single time I pray to God, and I remember a Bible story that always helps me whenever I feel nervous. It's time for our Bible story. A long time ago, there was a man named Abram. God told Abram to leave his country, his family, and to go to another land. He must have been scared. I'm pretty sure he was. It was something new and different and he had to leave all that he knew behind. However, God spoke to Abram and told him to not be afraid because God will protect him and give him good things. Now that sounds good. It sure does. Among all of the good things God promised him, there was one thing Abram wanted most. What was that? Abram and his wife didn't have any children, so God made him a special promise. Let me guess, a kid? A kid, not just a kid, God took Abram outside and told him to look up at the stars. In the sky? Yes, in the sky. God promised him that his family will be as many as the stars in the sky. That's a lot of kids. A whole lot. So God made him a very special promise. I really like the part of the story where God tells Abram not to be afraid. When I'm afraid and nervous, which is pretty much often, I remember that promise God made. It doesn't matter what you're doing. God's promises are for now and for later. So it doesn't matter if you are six years old like you are or 26 like I am. God gives us promises that are as true today as they were to Abram and as they will be in the future. Thanks, Sally. So friends, did you hear that? When God gives a promise, they are good for forever. Just like God's promise to Abram. So 
So when the Bible says that God is with me and that God will help me, I can trust those promises. And you can too. I know. Mind-blowing, right? Maybe I'll go and practice my dance now. Do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe. Catch you next time. Peace. So are you ready for this month's Bible verse? Our memory verse for this month comes from the book of Joshua. Now, Joshua was a great leader of the Israelite people, and he loved God. And he also wanted to help the people be closer to God. And this is what he told us in Joshua 21, 45. He said, not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. So let's put some hand motions to those really powerful words from Joshua, okay? So we're gonna start out by saying, not one, so like this, not one of the Lord's, remember this is Lord, good, we're gonna put our hand like that, other hand here, good, promises makes me think of pinky swears, so we're gonna go like that for promise, okay? So let's put that one part together, okay? Not one of the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Because that's fail, right? All right, let's put that whole first part together, okay? Not one of the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone, this makes me think of everyone, everyone was fulfilled. So let's put all that together. Hopefully that will help you remember these powerful words. So not one of the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. Good job, guys. That's Joshua 21, 45. And I hope those hand motions help you to remember them. And I also hope that you remember the big idea for this week. And I also hope that through this whole week, and I actually, I pray for you for this whole week, that you will remember every day that we can trust God. You can trust God. I can trust God. Because when he makes a promise, it is for real, and he is going to fulfill those promises. So I hope you've had a good time today. And I hope to see you back next week for more New Hope Kids Online. Bye.